All right, thank you. Well, as Matt just showed you, we're going to be in the 90s for the next week, and the high heat can actually be dangerous for children, especially for children with autism spectrum disorder. The World Health Organization says heat stress is the leading cause of weather related deaths, and children on the spectrum can have even more severe reactions to higher temperatures due to a greater sensitivity to environmental changes. And with autism rates rising, it's important really for everyone to be aware of the risk. That's why Lauren Clopton is here with Hope Bridge Autism Therapy Centers. It's in Avondale. She's here with us today. Uh, you're actually from the Hoover Center, though. You'll yes, have 100 locations in 12 states, right? Yes, yes, well, ma'am. Welcome and thank you for being <laughs> with us today. Talk about why the heat and children with autism might be more susceptible to the heat. Um, like you mentioned earlier, um, it can induce like some stress related conditions and serve as precursors for some of those um, behaviors that they may engage in and suffer from. Um, so just to recap, like you said, um, some sensory friendly indoor activities that um, you guys can um, do with your kiddos and beat the heat, you know, with the index, the heat index being super high, it might not be as feasible to go outside all the time. Um, so just a few ideas. Um, we have what we call water bins that we have in a clinic. And in essence, that's just a nice size bin. You put your water in, um, you get some soap or some shaving cream, something super sudsy, and throw in some of their like bath, favorite bath toys and figurines and things of that nature, and just let them go at it. Um, this is good because it allows them to get that sensory outlet that they're looking for that they may not can get in a swimming pool outdoors or a sprinkler set that they can run through and the cleanup is relatively easy so this is an opportunity where you can capitalize on cleaning skills helping them uh, clean because the materials are mostly in the bin um, another one um, would be some interactive and movement activities um, so play their favorite song play your favorite song have them um, dance with you and you can really work on those listener um, skills and modeling skills um, I know I have a, a learner in a clinic right now who's three that loves the cha-cha slide. I would have <laughs> never knew a three-year-old knew about the cha-cha slide, but you know, through modeling, it became an activity that was fun for both of us, and that's something that you can do inside as well. Um, and lastly, we have, um, you know, everybody's heard of vision boards. You know, it's all over social media, Pinterest, things like that. This is another fun activity that you can do with your learners. Um, have them cut out some of their favorite activities out of magazines, you know, some of their favorite toys out of brochures, and make it like a fun activity um, that you could do together so you know the next day that you're out, out in town and you know the weather's not as hot um, you can refer back to that vision board that you guys done together and be like hey you know today's a good day we can go to the park and cross it off the list or yes we can go to Walmart and get that toy that you put on there so yeah. these are just some great activities that you guys can do yes. together to beat the heat um, so if you guys like these ideas you guys can visit hopebridge.com and visit our blog um, where we have more updates for sensory friendly indoor activities. I I love that. The website there is at the bottom of the screen, and I appreciate that information. Some great idea for parents. Yes, um, I'm sure they appreciate that as well, and we appreciate you being with yes, us. Yes, thank you guys for having me. <laughs> All right, coming up on Now at 11, we'll have more. Uh, we're actually going to be talking, uh, we're going to have our Queen of Clean segment. You don't want to miss that. Stay with us.